back, Jane Velez Mitchell with Jane Unchained, and we are talking Just Mayo, this plant-based vegan product that is an alternative to traditional mayonnaise, taking the world by storm, and in the process, turning the person who invented this into the rock star of vegan business, none other than Josh Tetrick, CEO of Hampton Creek. Josh, I'm reading that you are all over Fortune Magazine. You've got an incredible funding past the $120 million mark. What's going on? Uh, a lot. We're so lucky we got about 12 billionaires that have said, I believe in this movement. We're everywhere from Walmart to Target to the largest food service company in the world. And the best thing about what's happening, Jane, is people who can't even pronounce the word vegan, who call it vegan, who have never even heard about it, are choosing what we're doing, not because they're concerned about plant-based things. They're just concerned about eating better. Uh, and that's part of the reason why we're winning. We figured out a way to tap into this idea that we should be easier for people to eat better. And it is, it's been something that we're going to keep on pushing it. You really burst onto the world stage when you were sued by one of the food giants, Unilever, the makers of Hellman's mayonnaise, which filed suit against you, uh, accusing you of, oh, trying to say that you're a mayonnaise and mayonnaise has to have eggs and let's face it that whole lawsuit laid an egg it backfired on unilever they ultimately dropped it but it put you on the world map tell us about the impact of that ill-fated suit well it did jane it gave us about 22 million dollars in free media so that was pretty good and it gave us the opportunity to just tell our story like crazy to people whether you never heard about him the creek or not to say why we're doing this in the first place and everyone from Walmart to the Dollar Tree to Whole Foods stood by us. And they said, we believe in this company. We believe in what you guys are doing. And you're right, 34 days later, after hundreds of thousands of people said, drop the damn lawsuit after their Facebook pages were frozen up. Uh, after I think some of the good people at Unilever realized they didn't want to get involved in this, they dropped it. Uh, and, and we became a better company for it because it we had guts before, but I think it gave us even more. I was curious, Josh, did it have a measurable impact on sales? And also, what was the climate like um, at Hampton Creek after the lawsuit? Were you all worried? Did you realize that their lawsuit against you would be such a coup for Hampton Creek? Our, our point of view is we're not going to accomplish big things in the world by cowering in the corner. We're going to accomplish big things in the world by looking people in the eye and saying what we believe in. So we. The only concern we had is that we were going to be able to get our message out and our story out. And, and man, did we ever. So it, that became an awesome thing. And, you know, we we also thought that there are people in Unilever. You know, big companies like Unilever are made up of tens of thousands of people and they all think differently. They all, they all, all think the same. So we were hopeful that there were some good people there. And it turned out that there, there are plenty that actually realized this is where the world's going. And we need to figure out new ways of making food better. And we just kind of stuck to our guns and and, and, uh, and let life take its course. And it, it ended up working out for us. I am so excited about your upcoming product, which I believe is named Just Scramble. So many people have a hard time giving up uh, eggs. And you've come up with an alternative to eggs that is plant-based and scrambles just like eggs. And I can't wait to hear about it. Well, Jane, so we, you know, how we think about everything is the, the car wasn't really an alternative to horse and buggy, right? The car was just better, you know? You just got in the car, you stopped with horse and buggy. So whether it's the mayo cookies that we have out there or just scramble that's coming out uh, in about a year, we want it to be so much better, so much more affordable, taste so much better that even if you just, you just love chicken eggs, you just can't get chicken eggs off your mind, you're still going to eat it because it tastes better and it's cheaper. And that's kind of the way we think the world needs to change. You make the good things so much better. Even if you don't like the world, you still choose it. And that's what we're going to do with Scramble. You know, big restaurants don't use eggs that they crack. They use these liquid eggs already. Yeah, and, and you know, Josh, I've seen at the grocery store eggs that you pour into a pan, but I've never paid any attention to them because I don't eat eggs. So what what will it be like for a consumer who goes to a grocery store to buy Just Scramble? Are they going to be buying something in a carton that they pour into a pan? So first, we're going to start off in big old fast food restaurants and universities and hospitals uh, and big old corporate cafes. That's where we're going to start. So you can imagine, you know, being, uh, you know, you're working at Nike and you're going to get your lunch, you're going to get your breakfast. 
And instead of the typical leg that, that is there today, you got something that's a little bit better uh, provided by us. In a grocery store setting, I think it's more likely to be, it'll be in a liquid format. It'll be right there next to a dozen chicken eggs, but it'll be a liquid format. And the big difference is, you know, if you're gonna get a dozen eggs for about $1.79, you'll be able to buy what's the equivalent of a, a dozen frost for about 89 cents. Uh, it'll taste not like battery cage kind of, you know, gross eggs, but it'll feel like farm fresh. Because it is, it's like directly from farmers that we work with. There's no added chemicals or any of that nonsense to it. Uh, and then again, that's how I think we, we really break it. Look, I'm a consumer of Just Mayo myself. I love it. And one of the things that I've enjoyed most about it, in addition to eating uh, too much of it myself, is that I do vegan outreach. I have people over for dinner who oh, do not consume plant-based diets, and I take a dollop of this and I throw it on the plate. And I cannot tell you, people think that they're eating some sort of special sauce that I made, and I let them think that. And then at the end, I pull out this jar and I say, look, you can go to Costco, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Whole Foods and buy this and eat this yourself. And you don't need to consume the you know conventional mayonnaise anymore. I love it. I love it. Let me say, Jane, you know, you 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 were so kind to tell our story. We, we didn't even have a product back in the day when you told our story. And I was I was uh, didn't I was still trying to figure it out. And. It's, it's been awesome to follow you and what you're doing with your new endeavor. And you got a world of fans here at Hampton Creek who, uh, who always have you on your mind. And it's always, we always have so much pride when you talk to us. Well, Josh, I want to say, and I know I speak for Donnie of TheirTurn.net because we collaborate together, that you are an inspiration to uh, both of us and to millions of other people around the world because so many people are kind and compassionate and they want a way out that is palatable and that's what you provide so josh tetrick uh rock on don't wait too long with that just scramble or i'm gonna have to sneak into your corporate offices to try some because i can't wait